So hi everyone, it's Stephen here from MediaCorp. Now I work on TV as a presenter. I host a few TV shows, one especially called Talking Point. And so I do love telling stories all the time. In fact, it's my day job, which is why I'm super happy to be here to also tell you about this story today. It's something called Gobi Lock and the Three Bears. Have you heard of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Well, this is a Singapore-flavoured version written by KFC To and Gavin Gu. So, let me begin the story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Now, Goldilocks was the only child, and Mr. and Mrs. Go Ho Lang were a kind and caring couple who lived in Upper Thompson, next to the forest where... Wild boars roamed. Ooh, they wanted little Gobilog to be a good girl and not be naughty. Yeah, just like all parents. And they told her that if she was naughty, they would lock her in her room. Now, she had to study hard and could only play educational computer games, but only after she had finished all her homework. Sound familiar? That's her family, that's her room. But Gobilock was a naughty girl. So one day her father locked Gobilock in her room because she wanted to run to Pierce Reservoir to play. Mr. Go left her with a tablet computer and a plate of chicken rice. Ooh, who likes chicken rice? And he told her to study hard to prepare for her primary one class test. She played a game where she was supposed to shoot arrows at wild boars. But she kept on missing, so after a while, Gobilock became tired of the game, and she fell asleep. Suddenly, she woke up, and against her daddy's orders, she wandered into the forest. She ran in between the two and trees. She dodged a few monkeys, and she picked some rambutans to eat. And then she spotted a house, a small little house that was just big enough to contain her mummy's shoe collection and her daddy's golf shoes. Wow, her parents must have a lot of shoes. Curious about the house in the middle of the forest, Gobilock went up and knocked on the door. But no one answered. She twisted the door knob. And the door opened. And she tiptoed into the house. And inside the house, she saw that there were two bedrooms, a living room, a study area, and a dining corner, plus a kitchen and a toilet. I'm very hungry, said Gobi Long. And she did not like the chicken rice her father had given her. So she said, I'm going to look for something in the kitchen. So she opened the cupboards and she rummaged through them, but she didn't find anything. Instead, she found bottles of sauces, packets of dried spices like five spice powder. Do you know what that is? Go and ask your parents. There was also chili, pepper, garlic, a bottle of sambal, and even peanuts. Hmm, why are there so many sauces, spices, and herbs? Where is the real food? Where's my chicken nuggets and french fries? Just then, the three bears returned home. They had come back after shopping at the Angmokyo Central Market. Little Bo bought some silky tau hui and would not stop complaining. Ayah, the queue was so long. I thought they only lined up for it at the old airport road food center. So you can see here, he's got his tau hui and he's like, Ayah, I had to wait so long for it. Never heard of a wild boar liking tau hui. Mummy Bo had bought a Peranakan lace tablecloth and she was really happy. She announced, now we can finally have a civilized Peranakan dinner together. Daddy Bo had lugged a big bag of groceries, which included his favorite snack, Kaya Donuts. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Do you think they will let me bring this to the high class uh, dinner en blanc picnic? He asked Mummy Bo. 
But Mummy Boar did not have a chance to reply as they walked into the kitchen and they saw you know, rummaging through their cupboards and they scream Ah Gobilock saw them and went Ah So everyone was screaming in the room. And then the three boss fainted on the spot. Naughty Gobilock suddenly had an idea. She was going to cook up the three boars. She took Mummy Boar and she seasoned her with some soy sauce and five spices powder to make kongba. She then took Daddy Boar and boiled him with garlic and pepper over a low fire to make bakute. These are the two dishes here. Then... Poor tender little boar was made into satay with a dip from sambal and crushed peanuts. The sauce sounds good. Gobilok even used their flour to make pao for her kong ba. Pao, you know, the bun that you want to wrap around your meat. Everything smelled so good. After about two hours of cooking, Gobilok was about to have a nice uh, fatty piece of kong ba. When suddenly she heard a knock on the door. Oh, hmm. Could that be a friend coming to join me for the meal, she thought. She went to the door, she opened it, and a mean and hungry wolf barged in. Bar! This is my lucky day. A big lunch of kung ba pao, bakute, sate, and a little girl awaits me too. Ha 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 ha. The wolf growled with glee. Guess what happened? Gobi Lok fainted from the sight of the scary wolf. She fell into a deep sleep. And the wolf was a little bit annoyed. Hey, little girl, wake up, wake up, wake up, little girl. Gobi Lok opened her eyes. She rubbed them a bit and she's like, Oh, wait a minute. Don't eat me. Uh, I, I, I'm very hungry too. She stared at the wolf who was growling back at her. And he said, you naughty girl, I asked you to study and eat your chicken rice, but instead you played computer games and fell asleep. What a funny thing for the wolf to say. Gobilot was a bit confused and she rubbed her eyes once more. Wait a minute, what's going on? And she woke up and realized that she was in her bed in her bedroom and that her father was talking to her. Oh, daddy, she said, I had such a horrible nightmare. I wandered into the woods. I cooked up some wild boars and a big bad wolf came to eat us all. I was so scared. And she added softly, I'm going to be a good girl from now on. Oh, you poor dear, Mr. Go said as he hugged his daughter. Everything is going to be all right. And then he told her, Don't worry, I bought you your favorite food. He lifted up a plastic takeaway container. Now, how about having some braised pig trotters, eh? Yikes! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy it. This Singaporean fairy tale, Gobilok and the Three Bears. If you want to find out more about the original fairy tale, you can go and read up on Goldilock and the Three Bears and see if you can spot the differences between the two stories. I'm Stephen Chia from Mediacorp and I hope you've enjoyed the story. Till next time, bye-bye. <laughs>